we are two crazies from South Africa. That is Prick and Pietru. We decided to chuck everything and now we are living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. Tomorrow no wind, but after tomorrow there will be a good wind, so we need to position ourselves so that we can use this wind. At this moment we have 10 knots of wind, only the Genoa knot. Um, we didn't want to raise the main yesterday for in case there is something not right. Because we dropped the main completely and let it fix, get fixed. So now in daylight maybe we can start putting it up. But <laughs> the wind is predicted to actually go away. If I look at the wind prediction here, it seems like we will have wind till about 9 o'clock, which is in one hour. And then it will drop. It will drop. If you look here, you can also see. So we have some wind, some wind, some wind. Then nothing. And that's the wind that I'm hoping to catch because it's only there for one day and it's going in the right direction. And then after that it disappears and it actually goes the other way around. It's now half past 11. So I just come up to shift and add a cup of tea, nice hot cup of tea. But I want to show you guys something. Here, here is our waypoint. That is where we are now at and that is the route that we made. But look here. I saw these things on the radar and there's another one on the radar and there's a boat and you can see the AIS and the radar is is agreeing with each other but now look here see if I zoom in there's actually a lot of wrecks there because of these little islands that's here so there's a little island as well so and then here is something that I don't know there and I cannot see it it doesn't have a light um, yep so remember to zoom in if you don't zoom in you will miss these things check one mile zoom it's now on one mile per per that row say centimeter or whatever so it's very true what they say Boating and yachting. Boat life is all about cleaning boats and yachts in exotic places and also repair them. So we do repair them quite often. the big sail out and we've got the main out full but we still need to motor to actually have some speed we need to get somewhere there for the for that big wind to catch us so we need to be there when the wind starts and 
If we're not there when the wind starts, we will not make Gibraltar. Because it's only a one, uh, one and a half day blow or one and a half day wind window, weather window. And you can feel it's winter here. It is damn cool. I can call this time of the day already. If you're not in the sun, it is cold. I need to go and check the water level. Uh, we switched the water maker on. Looks like we can shut it down. We have full water tanks. So I need to go down below and and it's now manual. We have a problem with the water maker again. So I have to climb in there and switch it off. And then I need to flash it. So we finally have some wind. So you can see this is the true, yeah, is the true wind. And this is our speed of uh, ground at this moment. So you can see we, we surf. at this moment nice long surfs what I'm constantly checking is our apparent wind so that's 12 over there so wind so this one here is the true wind and that is the apparent wind so if the apparent wind picks up too much then you will need to drop the code D so at this moment we're running under the code D it's now almost six o'clock so I can maybe start the kettle and get ready to wake Peter up and I'm sure you guys are aware that there's a serious current out here so we need to make sure that we use the wind that we have but also not go into that current which is a little bit of a tricky thing because This is the current, so it comes comes out of Gibraltar, uh, Strait of Gibraltar, or actually in the Strait of Gibraltar, then goes north and makes a little circle here, and then it goes, it actually splits, so one way goes that way, and other one goes kind of like back. Predict wind managed to get us a path to say we cross it perpendicular and we will cross it again there. Look at the wind situation. So this is the... Ooh. This is the wind situation. And I've been updating it quite regularly. So also, you see the wind is busy disappearing. There's a little glass coming in again. So we cannot go straight because of the current. We have to cross the current to actually get to this wind here. We can stay, try to stay here, there on top, but that wind is not strong enough. So we need to go back to get to this little part of wind right there. Um, so we need to get this little bit of wind, the last wind, before, before we get to Gibraltar. I went with the European model and we, we are actually staying quite on track. So let us look more or less what I've done here. So we were up there and we we had to come into the wind basically. So I put the first point where wind uh, where predict wind was saying the wind will be. So that was the first point. And then I went to these guys, so we are now very close, we well, actually passed that one already, but you can click on the easy thing and it will tell you the coordinates of that point. 
Now with that coordinates, I then created this thing. So I take the average, more or less the average of this. Now it's nice because all of them are more or less the same. So I just used the, the yellow, which is the European model. So I just used the yellow one. So I took that point there, and then I took that point there, and that point there, and then I plotted it here. Dolphins playing around. Whoa, look at that one. Oh, look at that. Making backflips. <laughs> That's amazing. And we're sailing into the sunset. We have our Kodi up. And we have our Genoa out. So we're wing on wing with that. And we are busy with a barbecue. Look at that. We've got our fishing lines out. And it's downwind sailing. But yeah. Fancy sailing. Oh, and Peter is here. With you some new stuff. <laughs> Watch out for the big holes. I was right. Just look at that. The rock of Gibraltar. You can see it over there. This is why we have this kind of weather that is the rock of gibraltar that is uk and yeah i don't need to say more look at the clouds look at the weather it is just not cool everything is just not cool here except for the rock the rock is very cool <laughs> and maybe that draw boat over there also very cool it's almost to the day 11 months ago that we came from the other side. Also with a Cody. Also with a Cody. <laughs> Calm seas. And we were also doing about six knots. And we still had a barbecue on the back of the boat. Oh, we should there. actually pop out the barbecue now, right? But we could see Gibraltar. We could see the rock. It was sunshine. It was early in the morning, remember? Yeah, so we yeah. sailed most of the way. I think we only motored maybe five hours, six yeah. hours, maybe like that. But we managed to use the predict wind quite well. And this time it actually... It worked. <laughs> it's the first time it worked. worked. <laughs> and it was downwind. We weren't always at the right place that they predicted us to be, but it, what they said was true. But we're not complaining. No, we're we not sailed. complaining. So we are entering here the Bay of Gibraltar so that is Gibraltar but that is the Bay of Gibraltar and over there is the Strait of Gibraltar so many people if you want to get technical this is Gibraltar but if you want to talk just generally about Gibraltar then everything here is Gibraltar so we're going to anchor in the Bay of Gibraltar, but on a Spanish side. So the, the technicality comes in that this little rock here, all the way to the airport, is the United Kingdom. That is basically not Spain. Well, it's not Spain. And the rest, all of that, is Spain. Even on, 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 on that side there is Spain. So only this is the UK. We are anchored here in La Luna, La Luna, and that is the Rock of Gibraltar. This is the Spanish side, and over there is a big runway, and that is the border, basically, between the runway is already UK. We are now getting ready to. To fix everything on Sisu and look at this. We we just washed Sisu like two days ago. 
it is incredible the sand it's just too too much it's time for us to go to where the sun is and trade winds i think because they not working they not working they not working not one of them is working so that's why we have we have our engines on to charge a little bit gloomy day today and the rain has started and Pietro is all curled up in a foulies you can see that's how that's how warmest clothes that we have is foulies <laughs> foul weather gear <laughs> be tight that packs on to the dock over there and <coughs> That was the airplane landing. <laughs> it has, should have a little blueberry in the middle, shouldn't it? You know, I waited. Look, uh, these guys even give us nice I know, uh, it work. cookies and coffee. Cookies bribing, and coffee. Bribing Pietro not paying her, but coffee. we will get the dinner, Pay I'm her. sure. Doing <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. all sorts coffee. of things here. So bad. Four million still sitting at my And seat. this guy wants his foot also in yeah, stitched in. <laughs> She's a lifesaver. Harry, put me on video. Let me get to it. I haven't been on any. Riley, this is how us big guys do it, huh? We bring our own. We don't have 10 million participants to pay to take um, it to the... He's actually, we brought, we brought it, not he brought his own. <laughs> These massive street lights. Wow! I must say, if the sun is out, it is bright here in the Bay of Gibraltar. Because of COVID nonsense and stuff like that, we cannot go. Um, we can go to Gibraltar, but we cannot come back. Spain doesn't want people coming back. Depends on the nationalities, of course. So just look at this. This is the Spanish side. So, so colorful, so beautiful. And we've been now there a couple of times. And the dinner places, restaurants are cute. The bars are cute. Definitely worth a visit there as well. Still inside the Bay of Gibraltar. Look at all these monster boats out here. We're heading for the fuel dock in Gibraltar so we can refuel for our trip to the Canaries in the next day or two. And there is the runway, the airport runway. You see inside here, yeah? I hope all these boats aren't waiting to refuel, otherwise we're going to wait forever. And they close at 6 o'clock at night. Just missed this guy landing. But look how short this runway is. He touched down just about here where this orange barge thing is. So it was a quick stop. And there is the end of the runway. We are docked to refuel inside Gibraltar. That is Gibraltar. Apparently there's a lot of baboons on top there, on the rock. And that boat, we think they've revamped into a hotel, so it doesn't really float anyway. And it looks like they're extending the marina. And that is where we were moored last night and the night before. And that is Spain. Perfect. 